Oh god, they're everywhere. There's one. There's another one. Uh, make it stop, make it stop. Uh, run the intro. What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about the science of style and grooming to help you become the most confident and attractive man in the room. If that sounds like something that you would like, then light up that like and subscribe button and join the family. Additionally, if you're struggling on your hair growth journey and you feel like you wanna throw in the towel or something, don't do it. First, come join the Mannered Mains Facebook group instead. The guys in there are positive, encouraging, educated, and they will help you not give up on your hair growth journey. So calling them awesome is quite frankly an understatement. They are an amazing group of guys and uh, just click the link in the description and come see for yourself. Okay, so let's move on to onion juice. Is this legit for hair growth or not? <laughs> so before I get into the science, I want to bring up this video that I found from the channel Your Health on YouTube, and it has 31 million freaking views about onion juice. I did not realize how much people wanted to know about if onion juice works or not. Before we move on, leave a comment if you've ever tried onion juice and what your results were. I'm very curious to know. So let's take a look at this video real quick. It's titled, How to Grow Long Thicken Hair with Onions, World's Best Remedy for Hair Growth. Those are some really big claims for thickened hair. So the first thing you do is you chop the onions up into small pieces. Then step two is you blend it together until it's a paste, and then you extract the juice by pressing the paste into a colander. Then you apply it onto your scalp for 40 minutes and then wash it out with a gentle shampoo. And then your hair is supposed to grow faster if you do this like twice a week for let's say a month or something like that. And a bunch of the comments in this video are saying like this really works. Oh my gosh, I tried this, this works. Okay, so is this legit? Is this a myth? What does the science say? So here are some claims that I found about why onion juice is so good for your hair and scalp. The first is that onions are really high in dietary sulfur, which is a key component in amino acids, which is found in proteins, especially in keratin. And keratin is a sulfur rich protein that is found in strong and healthy hair. The other claim is that it helps boost blood circulation in the scalp and promotes collagen production on your skin and your hair. But my question is, if that's the case, then wouldn't eating onions be better than applying it topically? Because absorbing these amino acids directly into your system would be a better delivery system for blood flow than applying it topically, in my opinion. I don't know this because there's very little evidence and there's not a whole lot of testing on onion juice for in vivo versus in vitro. Another point is I can see how it might work on your scalp, but it's hard for things to penetrate the hair follicle, right? Even oils struggle to penetrate it, especially if you have low porosity hair. Coconut oil has been found to be the best penetrant on uh, medium and high porosity hair because it is a triglyceride and it's a medium chain triglyceride and because of its low molecular weight and its straight linear chain, it is able to penetrate that hair shaft and offer all the protective values that it offers. So unless you're mixing this onion juice with coconut oil or some other carrier oil that's really good at penetrating the hair, I don't know how well just plain old onion juice is going to penetrate the hair shaft. It might just sit on the outside. These are just my thoughts and my opinions before I pull up the research. So let's dive into what I found. So first I'll say is that the research was really sparse. I was only able to find one study it was published in July of 2014 in the Japanese Journal of Dermatology, where they took 38 patients who are all suffering from alopecia areata, which by the way is different from androgenetic alopecia. AGA is commonly known as male pattern baldness, female pattern baldness, where alopecia areata is an autoimmune disorder where your immune system tends to attack your hair follicles, causing you to have like patchy spots all over your head. So this study looked at 38 patients with alopecia areata. So the average age ranges were between 18 to 22, but they did range all the way from five years old to 42 years old. And the two groups were advised to either apply onion juice or tap water to their hair and scalp twice daily for 60 days. So when it hit the two week point, regrowth of terminal coarse hair actually started on patients being treated with onion juice. And after four weeks, hair regrowth was seen in 17 patients. And after six weeks, hair regrowth was seen in 20 patients of the 38. So it's also important to note that the hair 
regrowth was significantly higher among the males compared to the females. And only two patients experienced hair regrowth in the tap water control group. So taking a quick glance at this study, someone might come to the conclusion that, holy crap, onion juice can help you regrow your hair if you're suffering from hair loss. But there's a couple things that I would wanna point out first. And the first is that this was a very, very small sample size. 38 patients, a few of which didn't even complete the trial, is not enough data to be able to say with confidence that this works. So I would like to see sample size of at least a thousand or more to assess this like validity. And the second thing is that this was only done in people who suffered from alopecia areata. I haven't found any research on this working in people with male pattern baldness or telogen effluvium, many other causes of hair loss. Could it work for them? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying there were no other legit studies that I could find. It's just not enough research. I can tell you I found tons of anecdotal evidence on YouTube, people with male pattern baldness, people suffering from different forms of hair loss, trying it on themselves and getting results. So take those anecdotal pieces of evidence and try it yourself if you want. But I also found that there are zero negative side effects of putting onion juice on your hair outside of your hair smelling like onions for a couple of days. Or if you have an onion allergy, then I probably wouldn't use this method. Maybe if you put some like peppermint essential oils or tea tree, you can help to suppress the smell. But if you're suffering from hair loss or you're seeing uh, receding hairlines, who am I to tell you not to try it? Like, hey, knock yourself out. Maybe it'll work for you if you're okay with the onion smell. So then there are the other claims that it will speed up hair growth. This is important to point out is that if something works as a treatment on someone who's been diagnosed with something like a pattern baldness or alopecia areata and they do see results, it doesn't mean that those same results are going to transfer or that those results will somehow be enhanced. So it's like if I'm trying to get muscle and a nutritionist recommends that I eat 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight in order to maximize you know muscle gain that doesn't mean that me doubling that and eating two grams of protein per pound of body weight is going to speed up my muscle gains even faster so more doesn't always mean better so there's usually a healthy amount of nutrients that your body needs and any increase could even have a negative side effect. For example, zinc is a vital nutrient for hair growth. And if you're deficient in zinc, you could lose hair and supplementing zinc could bring you back to balance and help with hair loss. But if you go overboard and you supplement too much zinc, it could actually backfire and lead to hair loss again. So I'm not saying that too much onion juice is gonna cause you hair loss, that's not my point. My point is that more doesn't always mean better. So there's there is no evidence that in healthy individuals who use onion juice on their scalp are going to experience faster hair growth. You might just be smelling like onions for a couple of days. You know, I'm all about people embracing their hair growth journey, right? I think there's something admirable about a guy who has committed to a goal, like growing his hair out and having the patience and persistence to achieve it. A lot of people do look for hacks nowadays. They look for shortcuts. They look for the best hack to get to where they want to get. But sometimes it is easy to get carried away with a lot of that stuff. And the reality is all you really need to do is you know eat well exercise hydrate lower your stress levels sleep your eight hours every night and just be patient and you'll get there i promise and if you need support getting there and getting through it again come join the man and mains facebook group the guys will pick you up so will i be trying onion juice on my hair no I have no desire to smell like onions. My pregnant wife who has a superpower sense of smell will probably kick me out of the bedroom and kick me out of the house. Should you try it? Hey, I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want, man. Like knock yourself out. It's your life. There's no negative side effects. Many people have reported back that it has improved thickness and it has stimulated their growth. Those are all the anecdotal evidence that I've seen. So if you do try it, drop a comment. Let me know if it works for you and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Rolling, 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 keep rolling, 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 rolling. Dude, that was like my jam back in the day. Anyone remember that song? <sighs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Light up that like and subscribe button. Triglyceride. Dude. Or that, or that. How do we dice an onion? Big onion. Look at that. Woo! To the good onion. Good onion is a heavy onion. This is a six pound onion. It's also an onion where the onion is put. This is the tip of the onion or the onion. The onion is not the knife around the onion. Remove the pepper skin of the onion. The dice an onion. It's an onion. Cut the onion in half. On the onion. It's an onion. Then the onion. 
the onion with onion, onion, onion right here, onion, onion, the onion.